to say anything that may... Gura Executive Director Michael Duenas says the investigation continues. As of today, we have uh, responded uh, to 13 subpoenas. We provided all the documentation that they've requested. Uh, to my knowledge, you know, they continue to, to review um, all the items that were identified in the DEC report. These subpoenas date back to July last year from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The subpoena is related to a Departmental Enforcement Center report over conflict of interest violations and the repayment of federal funds, none of which have yet to be paid back. At this point, uh, I, we're just waiting for, for HUD basically to uh, come up with a uh, uh, conclusion in a position on, on, um, on the conflict of interest issue. And from there, uh, I guess we'll have a, uh, another set of discussions. As we reported, HUD recommended GURA repay back $1.4 million received to construct a new building that was never built. The report also noted nearly $600,000 in legal fees and housing funds paid to GURA's former legal counsel, who was determined to have violated conflict of interest rules. Duane says a special agent from the HUD Office of Inspector General was on Guam recently, accompanied by local FBI officials, to interview more employees and review more documents related to the investigation. He's following up on, on I'm sure, a referral made by uh, uh, the uh, office that handles the Section 8 public housing programs uh, for them to uh, take a closer look at, at the issues uh, identified in the DEC report. Duenia says while HUD officials have met with Gura before, this was the first time he can recall someone from the HUD OIG visiting. But the DEC report isn't the only area the feds are looking at. We did receive a, um, a, a tip about some inappropriate or um, processing and, uh, in our Section 8 program and that was referred to the, uh, uh, the agent while he was here. Duenas could not confirm whether any employees were involved or whether any action was taken against anyone yet, as the investigation is still ongoing. He can, however, confirm that Gura, on occasion, does receive tips of participants not following the rules of the program. He says Gura is obligated to pass all tips, including whether it involves employees, to the IG's office. How they proceed from there is, is um, uh, a decision they make, and sometimes they may pass it on to a local law enforcement agent to, to pursue. He says the inspector general is expected to return in a few months. To report any discrepancies or violations, you can call Gura's hotline at 477-9851. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.